hope you guys had a great New Year's. I know I did. I want to start off this video, start off the new year with a new video, a new start to 2018. The way I want to start it out is doing a tips and tricks video. But before we get into 11 amazing tips and advice tricks for people that are coming out, I want to first say this. First, an upcoming video that I'm planning on wanting to do is a New Year's, uh, a New Year's Q&A, um, a New Year's Q&A. So if you guys want me to do that, smash the like button. Also put it down, put your questions in the description. Also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can also, I'm thinking of doing, of having a new, uh, new clothing, not just clothing with my name on it and funny ones like I have in the past but I want to do a like one I want to do sweatshirts and shirts that are that have LGBT community or something like that on them it says um, LGBT pride on the front or something like that something along the lines of uh, pride and showing who you are as a person and being just who you are so Tell me in the description if you think that's a good idea. Let me know if you guys like this style of video. I want to integrate integrate some vlogging kind of material into it, into this channel as well. Started coming off, starting off 2018 is maybe doing skits. So along with what I'm doing right now, like for the tips and tricks right now, I would do a little skit for each in between or for each other one of the tips and the tricks that I have. Let me know if you guys like this style of video, if you want me to keep this style for a while and do a couple of skits or no style where I'm talking more directly to you. I feel like I'm connecting to you more as an audience rather than me walking around talking to a camera but not really talking at all. Or if you guys want me to do uh, videos with my parents or with uh, my friends or whatever about being gay, what, what their thoughts are when I told them that um that I was gay what they thought just in the description let me know oof this is already a long intro let me know what you guys want in the future uh send fan mail uh I'd love to open you guys' coming out letters if you guys also my eye if you guys were wondering about that it happened in a wrestling match I got poked not going into detail fan mail in the in the post office and it's a letter and it's coming out um I can read it on camera if you want, if you guys want me to do that, read your coming out videos, coming out stories on camera. So if you guys want me to write you a personal letter back or just a hey or whatever, send fan mail. Also send the packages because I love opening packages. Packages are fun to open, especially if they have food in it. Yeah, you know, because it's trying new food. It's awesome. Um, I've had enough rambling on. Here are 10 tips slash advice tricks to coming out. Let's get started. Okay, number one, don't feel pressured. The biggest thing I get uh, for people coming out is, what does this person think? Maybe, maybe this or maybe that. Don't feel pressured. You will come out. You'll you'll know you're ready when you're ready. Like you you will know when the time is right to come out. You don't have don't allow other people to pressure you into coming out. I'm not pressuring you into coming out. I'm saying wait as long as you like to wait until the time is right for you to come out and then come out. Now it's easier said than done. I understand that. But on to number two, you don't have to label yourself if you don't want to. If you feel like like putting a label as like oh I'm gay makes you feel more as a person I guess so to say than to be like oh I'm Isaiah I'm yeah it's me and not put that label on then you don't have to on to number three um you don't have to choose between your faith and your sexuality though you don't have to do like but well I'm Christian but I'm gay but I need to be Christian. I don't. I can't be gay. You don't have to choose between the two. You you can be both. Family. Olana means family. Family means everybody. I think I don't know. Number four. We're almost halfway done. Number or just about. Number four. Read. Look up. Um. And read about other people's coming out stories. See how they did it. What what helped them? What guided them to do what they did? For my coming out video, you could watch my coming out video. Uh. And. Take advice from what I um, from what I said, what I did, um, and take notes. 
just like read about people like just get to know a little more about your community prior to coming out it it'll help you it'll be more it'll help you feel more comfortable when you do come out um i know it helped me because i looked up a ton of videos like three or four days before i came out to my dad about how to come out um coming out videos all this other all this stuff um and it really helps it gives you it really helps to give you the confidence that you need to come out um number five this one i think is personally one of the most important things to do is to tell one person start off with one person start off with your best friend start off with somebody that you know really well that uh you know that they are accepting of the lgbt community and they're they're not against it they don't they don't say bad things um tell somebody that you know really well that you know you can trust and just start with that one person number six forget the stereotypes the stereotypes just no forget them the everything you see on tv stereotype you see on electronic stereotype people you just for be who you are you don't have to be what somebody else shows on the tv if they show them being all makeup and whatever all this and all that you don't have to be that but you can if it makes you feel you you can i guess the point of this whole thing is to make is i guess if you feel you want to feel at most how you feel and you don't want to be you don't want to be somebody else be you um be who you are forget the stereotype just no just be like no bitch <laughs> bye um number seven um, you'll be protected at school and at a uh, university if you're going to college and you're coming out. Uh, by law, schools are supposed to protect you from this stuff. Um, number, ah, uh, it depends. If you feel, it's more of not really necessarily a safe place, but it's more of, by law, they have to be accepting of who you are. Or you can sue them, and that's basically that. Know that, know where you go, and what rule, like not rules, but what what are the that's I guess laws around where I don't know. I don't know. I really I just like I don't know. I just know that school is a place that you are you can be safe at to tell somebody or at home just know that there are places where you can tell people without being judged is number seven um because that uh, number seven reminds me of somebody commented in the description on my last video um commented um if they came out to somebody at their school they'd get jumped or whatever just know n just know your surrounding before you come out you like you want to know what your surrounding is, the people who you, who you are telling um, this, all this, all that um, before you come out. No, you want to be who you are, and you don't want to feel like, oh, I have to do this because uh, this this person's doing it or that person or whatever the reason. Uh, you just you want to be feel you want to be in a place where you're comfortable. You don't want to do it. You don't want to come out in the middle of an argument. When you guys are fighting and your mom's having an argument, your dad's having an argument, you you don't want to be like, "Hey, mom, dad, shut up for a second. I'm gay." Like you don't you want. There's a time and there's a place for everything. Um, and again, going back to the very first one, you'll know when you are ready to come out. Like there, there's a time in your life where you're like, "Who? I think I can do this." Like you'll have enough confidence and you'll you'll be like, "Oh, I can do this." Okay, number eight, think about all the positive things, the amazing things that'll come out of being gay, like, uh, a weight has been lifted off your shoulders, all this amazing thing, like, people, like, you feel more alive when you do, think of all that positivity, uh, put the negativity behind you, use that as motivation to do what you love to do, brings us back to number nine. Uh, some people have negative experiences, some, but use those as a, as being guided. Like some people's experience with coming out have not been the, have not been the best. And we are aware of that. And as a society, we are trying to fix that. But 
just know that there's always a chance that it may not go the way you want it to, but you always have your friends, you have me to talk to, you have you have tons of people, you have everybody in the LGB uh, community. If you follow a Facebook page or a Twitter page, Twitter feed or an Instagram group chat, you can be like, oh, my parents did this and that, they don't accept me. And people will help you, like people will talk to you, guide you through the struggle you're going through. So know that even though there have been bad experiences, that you have people to talk to. Um, number 10, be creative with, or number 10, have a good time with it. When you come out, be you, have a good time, be confident, um, just be you when you do it. And that brings us to number 11, our final, I don't have 11 hands, I don't have 11 fingers, oh, hmm. Brings us to number 11. Um, make it creative. Have a little mug and be like, hey, mom, dad, I'm gay. Um, be creative with it. Be like, mom, dad, come here, come upstairs. And you walk out of the closet. I just came out of the closet, mom, dad. Um, be creative. Be fun with it. It'll help It'll help uh, lighten the mood. Um, it'll help with you. It'll be more fun for you to come out rather than sitting down and be like, gloomy and being hey I came I'm gay or I'm lesbian or bi or whatever be be creative with it um if you guys like this give this video a thumbs up I know this isn't one of the best videos I have done um the last last year's video was better the last video I did was the best was the bet uh, was the better one um this one was more of just tips and what you should know what um prior to when you feel like you want to come out also um with that um i where'd it go i just had the notes hmm well that's a poop i don't know where that went okay so i don't know where the notes went but um, number 11 is be creative. If you guys want me to do for the next, catch me later for the next video because I'm going to be doing a, um, uh, the creative version of how to be creative while coming out. I'm going to be doing a video on that, um, all the creativity you can put into coming out to your parents as gay, bi, lesbian, or whatever you are. Um, I'm going to be doing a video for that next week, um, on... Just being creative, making fun little skits or whatever. I'm going to have fun doing that. Um, and as always, I love you guys and peace out. And also, stay yourself. You're, lo you're amazing and I love you. Bye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use because you can't stop.